morning, an outrageous article suggests that you just might be an extremist. MSNBC facing a lot of backlash after tweeting, quote, the far right's obsession with fitness is going digital and then linking to a past op-ed. The article argues physical fitness training, especially in combat sports, appeals to the far right for many reasons. Initially lured with health tips and strategies for positive physical changes, new recruits are later invited to closed chat groups where far right content is shared. Outkick founder Clay Travis is here to react. Clay, good morning. I mean, does this mean the far left is associated with being super fat? Uh, I, I just, I mean, this is so laughably absurd. I, I don't even know where to go with it. I, I know there's probably people, as you mentioned, Ainsley, all over the country starting off their mornings by getting in a workout, try to feel a little bit better all day, try to put themselves a little bit better of a healthy uh, mindset. And guess what? They're white, black, Asian, uh, they're Hispanic. They're, they're male, female, gay, straight. I mean, everyone should exercise. If we want to go back to the time of COVID, instead of shutting down gyms, we should have given health discounts to everybody to go to join gyms. And we should have made sure that every park and every beach and every outdoor facility was open to, uh, to allow as many people as possible to go hike and get exercise. And I think this is emblematic of how desperate uh, the, uh, the, the left wing media is to try and characterize new things as racist or white supremacy laden. Uh, Ainsley, it reminds me of uh, like, like that great headline uh, back in the day from the LA Times when Larry Elder was running uh, for the governorship of the state of California and it called him the black face of white supremacy, if I remember correctly. And uh, we've seen an awful lot of white supremacists who are, uh, who are different races now, very expansive ideology that is, white supremacy evidently. Um, and now we're finding out that, that doing a push-up is, uh, is uh, you know, a, a pathway to nazi -dom. I mean, it's ridiculous. <laughs> this person is a professor at American University and a researcher in extremism. Joe Rogan tweeted this out, being healthy is far right, holy, and then the F word. So in this article, it talks about how if you're Republicans, this is what they do. They're going to lure you to the gym. They're going to lure you into working out. <laughs> and then they're going to put you in a chat room with other people. And then they're going to get you and try to get you to vote for the Republican Party. I mean, Ainsley, when's the last time you were in a chat room? Have Never. you ever been in a chat Never. room in your life? Do, yeah. Who has time Maybe for I that? was in like 19. I'd rather spend time yeah, as right. a mother. So I'm saying, I, I was in a chat room. I think in 1994, <laughs> back when they had the AOL discs yeah, and you right. put them in and you learned how to get on the internet for the first time, right. they the had a lot of chat rooms. The only people I want to chat me. with are the people I'm texting with or maybe the nice people on yeah, my social I, media. It, it, is, it is so funny to think about like, oh man, they're going to see you. They're going to lure you into something that's very it's healthy so for you to do. That's extremist. Uh, yeah, she's a professor and yes. she's worried about extremism. That's extremism and that just doesn't happen. Well, it also goes to Ainsley, the people who are lecturing us about the dangers of misinformation have actually shared more misinformation over the last three years exactly. uh, than the people who are just living their normal lives. Uh, and I think this is uh, reflective of that. And Clay, to a large what extent. about the fact that I know you talked about this on Fox earlier. You said Michelle Obama, this was her platform to be healthy, to yes. eat healthy. So that the other side was pushing health, too. And so do our doctors. We want to live long lives. We want to we want to meet our grandkids one day. I mean, I don't I wish we didn't have to work out. I don't really I'm not one of those that loves yeah, to go to the gym. This should be this should be something where bipartisanship actually triumphs. And yes, the the, the signature initiative of Michelle Obama when she was uh, the, the first lady was get moving, I think, to try to encourage everybody to work out more. I had no idea she was trying to recruit far right extremists, but evidently that's where we are. Yeah, it's just a great topic. Last night, uh, Sean Hannity did this and Pete Hexeth was on there with barbells just working out in the middle. Of that. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much for coming on. You can check out Outkick at Outkick.com. Thanks, Clay. Always good to talk to you. Please join the conversation. Put your comments and suggestions below in the comment section. Thank you for subscribing to this news channel. You will be notified of any breaking news and new post as you become part and parcel of the McCad TV family. Please like and share McCad TV. We love you all. Please support McCad TV Foundation by joining membership and visiting Amazon UK to purchase the displayed books to aid our orphanage projects across Africa.